Hey folks, I hope you're all well and staying safe. So, you bought the Oculus Quest 2 and one of the reasons you bought it was because you wanted to play PC VR games wirelessly. However, you're not sure how to actually do it and you want to know if the graphics are any good with it. Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. We are firstly going to go through how to set up virtual desktop on your Oculus Quest 2, which also includes how to load SideQuest. Then we are going to demonstrate some PC VR games using virtual desktop and I'm going to give you one big tip on how to be able to play PC VR games anywhere in your house. So if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and share if you can, as it lets me know to make more of this type of content. Also subscribe to the channel for everything VR related. Not only that, if you currently don't have a Quest 2 and you're still watching this video for some reason, or maybe you want one as a Christmas present, then you might want to join my giveaway, as I will be giving away an Oculus Quest 2 headset to one of my subscribers, if we get to 15k subscribers by Christmas. So the sooner we get there, the sooner you will be able to win. All these giveaways are from my own pocket, so I do need your support to be able to do it. To enter the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below and then follow the instructions in the description. Also, to make sure you guys still get something for Christmas, if for some reason we can't make it to 15k by then, I will still give a copy of Arizona Sunshine to one of my subscribers. And if we get to 10k, I will also give a copy of Richie's Plank Experience on the Quest 2. So let me know in the comments if you would like to enter for those as well. Well, let's get straight into the video. Now, if you already have SideQuest, I'll put a timestamp on to skip that part. I've included it just in case someone missed my previous video. So, the things that you will need to get SideQuest on your Quest or Quest 2 are 1. A laptop or PC. It doesn't need to be a VR ready or even a gaming system, any reasonable computer will do. Number 2. A USB cable to connect your Quest 2 to your PC or laptop. You can use the one that the Quest 2 came with if you have a USB-C port on your computer. If you don't, then use any other USB-C to USB cable, like one from your phone charger for example. It should still work, or get a USB adapter. Number 3. A phone or tablet with the Oculus app installed. You need this anyway, so you should already have it. And that's it, that's all you need to start. Next click on the link in the description below that says SideQuest, set up how to. Kind of speaks like Yoda. Once you are there, depending on which system you are on will determine which option you select. I am on Windows, so I will be showing you using Windows. So click on download for Windows. The file will download, then click on the exe file. After that, install the file. Then you can choose to run it if you wish, just to see the things that it has to offer. However, that's not necessary at this stage. Now that you have SideQuest installed on your PC, next we need to register as a developer on Oculus. Don't worry, you don't actually need to develop any games. For that, go to dashboard.oculus.com. The link is in the description as well. Once you're there, click on Login. Then click on Sign up to become an Oculus developer. Then if you have already created a Facebook account and linked it to your Quest 2, click the Sign up with a Facebook account. Or if you haven't, then click on Create an Unmerged Oculus Developer Account. Fill in your details and click create account. Once you have logged in, it should take you to create new organization straight away. If it doesn't, then just click the create new organization button on the far right. Then add your organization name in. It can generally be anything, so you can just add your name in if you want. Read the terms, then click I understand and press submit. Then a non-disclosure agreement will pop up. You can read that in case there is a clause saying that they own your soul now, if you agree. Since you will be getting free games, might as well click agree. And that's it for that part. Next, we will need to install the drivers. Simply go onto the link listed below called Oculus ADB drivers. Again, you can read the terms and then click agree and then download. Once the file has downloaded, find it in the folder. Or if you did it from Chrome, it's most likely at the bottom. Click on the file and click extract all. Then find the folder that the file was extracted in, double click it. It should be called Oculus Go ADB Drivers 2.0, then USB Driver, then right click the file called Android Win USB and then click Install. It will ask you for permission, click on Yes and then this part is done. Don't worry, we're almost finished. Kind of. Next, we need to enable the developer mode on your phone. The first thing you will need to do is switch on your headset. Then go onto the Oculus app on your phone or tablet, then go into Settings, wait until the headset connects and then click on More Settings. If you can't see that, click on the arrow on the right to expand it. Then go to developer mode and toggle it on. Then go back. Then go to unlock patterns and make sure that is turned off. It should already be off by default. 
If you have done all that and something went wrong, just reboot your headset and see if it worked. If not, just redo the steps. Now, for the final step for this part, all we need to do is connect the Quest 2 to the computer using the cable. I'm going to use a regular USB-C to USB cable that came with my phone charger to show you you can generally use anything. Once you have connected it to your PC, a pop-up will appear in your headset asking for permission. Just go into your headset and use your controllers to click allow. Then launch SideQuest. Then another pop-up will appear in your headset asking you if it should allow debugging. Click on always allow from this computer and press OK. On the top left it should say connecting. And eventually go to green which means that it is connected. However, if it's stuck on connecting, then try and close SideQuest and launch it again. It should work. That's it. That's how you install SideQuest. Now let's show you how to install games. It's actually quite simple. Go on to SideQuest. Click on a game that looks interesting. First, let me start with Hyper Dash, which is a multiplayer shooting game. It has a lot of movement, so be wary if you're new to VR. If you see the sign that says install to headset, then click it. It will start downloading and once done, it will tell you that the APK has been downloaded. However, on some games, you may see something else that's written, where it says on itch. For example, Crisis Brigade, which is one of the best games on SideQuest. If you haven't tried it already, you need to. I've also bought a copy on Steam just to support the developer. Anyway, if you click on itch, it will basically take you to itch.io. From there, you can click download now. It will ask you if you want to support the developer. If you can't, that's great, but otherwise you can click no thanks, just take me to downloads. When you're there, just click download. The pop-up will appear on SideQuest asking if you're sure you want to install it on SideQuest. Click yes and just wait for it to finish installing. Once you've done that part, put the headset back on. Go into applications which are the six dots. Then click on the far right drop down where it shows all. Scroll all the way down and click on unknown sources. There you have it. All the games you have downloaded from SideQuest are there. Just click on them for them to start up and that's everything. Now you will be able to play all of the games on SideQuest. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to install Virtual Desktop on your Quest 2. It's relatively simple. However, I do want to mention that you do need a VR capable PC to be able to play PC VR games, as your PC will be running the games instead of the Quest 2 processor. First, buy the Virtual Desktop app for your Quest 2. Once you have bought it, then go on to SideQuest and make sure your Quest 2 is connected to your PC or laptop. Then you can search for the name Virtual Desktop above or click on Streaming and then the Virtual Desktop VR patch should be the first option. Click on to it. And finally click Install to Headset. And that part's done. Next, you need to install Virtual Desktop Stream on your computer. Go to vrdesktop.net, the link is in the description below. Click on Download Streamer app. Once it has downloaded, click the application and install it on your computer. Then once it's done, launch it. Now you have to add your Oculus username in it for it to be able to connect. So add your username in and you're done. Now just a point to note, there is a preferred codec option. I personally leave it on automatic, however if you are getting a lot of latency then try and set it to H.264 to see if it helps. Ok, so now remove the USB from your headset and put your headset on. Then click on applications and launch virtual desktop. Now just click on games and congratulations, you should be able to play all of your PC VR games from your Quest 2. Now, as promised, I'm going to tell you how I am able to play PC VR games from my Quest 2 anywhere in my house. It's actually very simple, but people might not think about it. So normally, you would need to be relatively close to your router when playing PC VR games wirelessly. However, what you can do is get a wireless mesh system. It can be around $100 to $150 though. However, what it does is allow you to be right next to a router wherever you install it. I needed it since I couldn't get full wireless range in my living room and it has also served this purpose. So it's up to you if you want to get it. I've put a link of the one I use in the description below. Now let's just finish off with some wireless PC VR gameplay recorded directly from the headset. Well that's all folks, I hope this video helped you and now you know how to play PC VR games wirelessly on your Quest 2. If you have any questions please ask them in the comments below and I will try and answer them if I can. If you enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure you enter the Quest 2 giveaway by being a subscriber, liking the video and following the instructions below. And let me know if you want to enter the giveaway for Arizona Sunshine and Richie's Plank Experience. Well thanks for watching, have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.